Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the adventures of Wilbur in Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Uh, we are in the midst of a coup. Who knew? Uh, we just got finished with a big battle, and there's tons of loot to gather. Collecting loot from dead bodies. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got a gun, a las pistol, and we got a ton of swords. Cool. Now, oops, I, I missed of that. Idleness. Let's move. How the fuck do I get to the menu? Thank you. I'm actually gonna put this other pistol on my offhand. He's gonna be dual wielding like a bad boy. Uh, probably won't be that effective until later. Those swords look pretty nice, but his was way cooler with the fucking chainsaw. Um, now was that everyone? I do like that it, uh, basically like combines everyone together, but I won't we're on our way out of here. Okay. Here's a map of the void of your void ship. Okay, cool. Ooh, very spooky the purple lines. Directly along the passageway. Oh, I pray to the God Emperor that we are not too late. Me neither. Who are you? Psyker. Ah! You fucked, kid. And so, he will enter the halls of the Blinded Guide and witness the radiance of the final dawn through the cracks and fall victim to a whim of fate. Master, watch your head. Indira, would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? That was too close. <laughs> Sorry, old man. The voices are so loud I can't even hear myself. They shriek, they sing, they... Oh, Abelard, how they sing! This is Idira Tlas personal psyker and diviner of Her Ladyship Theodora von Falencius. Edira? <clears throat> I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate. To die in the waves of the Immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn, and in the roaring blaze I see a figure standing. Who is it? I have no answer. The entity in your consciousness shrinks and sh crawls in deeper. A claws scraping against the walls of your mind as if the presence is trying to hide from the seer standing before you. A diviner, are you? The voices from beyond the threshold whisper to me. Sometimes their murmurs are clear, they grant insight. Sometimes they drive me mad, but I am patient. I know how to listen <laughs> and discern. But now, with this clamor around me, too many voices, too loud. And you, you are Fon Valancius, one of Lady Theodora's heirs. Well then, <laughs> we finally meet. Officer's frequency to all that can hear me. Those in the w weapons, those with the weapon in their hand, are to gather at the officer's deck at once. I repeat, gather at the officer's deck at once and prepare to launch a counterattack. That's Edelthrad. Oh, Emperor's providence! The other air lives as well. Quickly, we must head to. Not so fast, old man. If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us. If Edelthrad's like me and hasn't yet surrendered his mind or body to the mercy of the warp, then he can still hold on a little longer without us. Blast it! You're right. First, we need to deal with what is happening here. Uh, how do you know who I am? What are you doing here? How do we know how I am? What? You think Lady Theodora didn't ask me to peek into the darkness behind the backs of those she sees as her prospective heirs? <laughs> I have seen you, 
I have seen the footsteps of your past and the wounds of your heart. Of my hat? The seer's words dredge up something dark and frightening from the depths of your memory. Your soul has been tainted by the influence of warp sorcery, and it seems you will never be rid of it. What are you doing here? <laughs> the whispers called me. The ones I could make out among all the screams and screeches. Those who are rocking this boat hit us where it hurt. They went after the navigator, our guide through the warp. Other whispers called me to the engineerium, but it was too late. I heard the cry of our master Cog, and the silence that followed. What? You don't mean the engine say Prime is... Zed, without a doubt. Zed. <laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling at each soul among the hundreds that are now joining the warp. The shriek from the Navigator's sanctum was louder than the rest. <laughs> and it's better that we save the Navigator than some lever puller from a cooling module or a cook from the middle decks. Uh, we must see if the Navigator is well. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing is well about him. Can't you feel the chill crawling on your skin? Gee, she's something else, the dude. The watching you? The warp ice has already encased the bulkheads. What follows is calamity. <clears throat> but we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? The state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe one who's crippled or at death's door, but still kicking. And since our skin hasn't peeled off our faces just yet, his third eye must be closed. At worst, it's a little roughed up. So what are we moping around for? Let's go protect that noble mutant while we're still alive. All right. Uh, someone's joined the party. To select the entire party and issue commands to all characters at once, press backspace. Really? Well, where the fuck is my camera? Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. Let's go inside. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a fight ahead of us. I'll lay claim to the stars. Beware the ire of the Sup, fuckers? Oh, he can actually go up in there, eh? Yeah, I'll put him right there for now. And then you? Adira? Take cover. Wilbur, take cover. I think that's pretty good. Let's start the battle. Oof. Adira is a psyker and an operative. As an operative, she can study opponents and identify their weaknesses, and her psychic ability psyker abilities allow her to deal damage to them. Okay, we can analyze enemies, expose weaknesses. Yeah, 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 yeah. The debuffer. She's the debuffer class. Uh, Adira is armed with special staff that allows her to unleash a psycho psychic powers against powerful against enemies. Jesus Christ! In the future, you will encounter staves that only psyker versed in certain disciplines can use. Oh, so there's different. Oh, uh, okay. There's different types of psychers. For example, you might find a staff that's lesser. Let's a pyro. Jesus Christ. Let's a psyker use Inferno, but to do so, they must first have Pyronancy Psychic Discipline learned. Okay. Well, for now, got this lightning bolt. Change up the four targets with a, th in a three cell radius. Ooh. Is that what I see here? It is what I see here. Fucking use it. Be gone. God damn. And then this one, Psyker increases the damage, or increases the target's dodge and parry by 10% until the end of combat. Really? Well, I'm gonna slap that on Abelard then. That's good. What is this? Psychic Shriek? Deal from seven to 16 damage to a target. Okay. 
Oh, and she also has this veil thing where she... Shit'll happen if shit gets too high. Uh, let's see. This one doesn't cost any. Operative targets one enemy within 10 cells of the operative and target immediately gains two exploits. What are exploits? Uh, if the operative... If the operative hits a target with an exploit stack, it deals damage percentage more damage. Okay. Perception, really? Damage is also increased by 10% for each exploit on the target. The attack removes all exploits from the target. Okay. Well, let's... This guy's got six health. This guy's got seven health. They've got five health. I don't really think that's worth doing. But I might as well do it anyway. Anything is. Screw it. Nada. Now let's see. Can I get... I can't cleave them. Maybe I can get here and then attack from there. Victory is imminent. I took care of this. Hey oh. And then can I charge at this dude? Indeed. One to a target. Yo, let's go, dude. Get fucked. I will do Might as well throw that on because it's free. Hologram. Oh, okay. That's just telling us about the uh, seeing if you have line of sight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already know that. Let's actually move up here. And we'll take a shot. I only have double with that really that's an area of effect and it's got a 22 percent chance to hit 56 is a lot better my tactics are flawless hey we got it mistake the creature in the chair appears as if it has become one with the throne you see pink parchment like skin stretched between the seat and the limbs that have too many joints for a normal human being Oh, let me get a look at this guy better. Oh my god, yeah, look at that arm. That's creepy. Uh, the navigator is breathing heavily, the air whistling as it exits through the two dark gill-like slits in its cheek. Ugh, the creature's eyes are shut, the two ordinary eyes as well. <laughs> it's the third one that sits in the center of its forehead. I believe Master Vespadius still lives. Uh, Abelard flinches at the sight of the stretch skin and the dark marks on the face of the creature. The servants are dead, but the chamber, thank the Emperor, is still sealed from the warp. Well, we have a chance of leaving this place alive. Uh, hey, Idaria. What, what the fuck was her name? Adira? My bad. Uh, what's your- what's wrong with them? Wounded, exhausted, fighting back the endless horrors of the warp that are forcing their way into his head. Pick one. Navigator stirs, barely able to lift its head and half open his normal eyes. A dark drop rolls from the- under the closed lid of the third eye and down his face, leaving a- behind a black trail. Your time is short. The voice is coming from the Vox Grill. What the fuck is this? Piece of techno- Oh, it's just a short radio? Okay. Uh, at the base of the Brazier chair- Oh, bizarre chair. It is unclear how the navigator is able to produce human speech. Our time is short to do what? Are you alright? Suddenly, the navigator's body stirs, starts thrashing in place. It lurches forward, then falls back into its seat, then thrusts forward again as its bones crack and its skin tears. However, the fusion between the body and the chair appears to be stronger than the wild impetuouses. I don't know. <laughs> the mutant remains seated and but le leans as far forward as he can, his layered remnant slowly turning crimson. Uh, Rainman, sorry. The gill slits burst open, forming two hideous screaming mouth-like pits. Fall to your knees, mortal, and behold the final dawn. 
It came from beyond. His body is not his. Adira, scream is echoed in the silent cries of your head. The unseen creature triumphs at the sight of the navigator succumbing to the paroxysm of paroxysms of incorruption. I don't know. It's March thunders under the burden of hopes. Unsealed your hearts, and I will flood your souls with myriads of words and meanings, each one a potent, a portent of salvation within me. The navigator cries and convulses violently in his seat, shrieking and cackling, but this is his fit stops abruptly. But then his fit stops abruptly. His face is drenched with black and crimson as the dark ooze from under the uh, third eyelid has turned from a trickle to a stream mixed with blood coming out of his nose. And there is purplish swelling around the eye. Run, flee from this place while I still have the strength. The words come from the Vox as a labored rattle. I could contain the intrusion, but not for long. We must begin the translation, leave the warp, but I can't be done, but it can't be done without the master helmsman's help. Who tortured you? I want to help you. I cannot bear this agony. I would love to put it into it. Address that blood. The navigator is still alive, but barely so. What do we do now? Uh, the ship can only begin the translation of the assistance of the helm master helmsman if he is still alive. It is worth a try. We must get to the bridge, but we need will need support. Our only option is to fight our way through way to the officer's deck and join forces with Edelthrad and his people. I believe we will also find Lady Theodora there. Uh, she must have heard the call to arms over the servo skull relayed to us earlier. Good luck and thank you. The navigator does not give her a response. <laughs> Black tears mixed with blood are streaming down uh, are from under the closed eyelid. Streaming from under the closed eyelid in the box and the base of their chair is bellowing out static interspersed with distant echoes of otherworldly laughter. Okay. We are Neat. the spearhead of the Imperium. Oops. I mean to do that. Follow my lead. I guess we go back outside here to the place with the stuff. Oh, wait, did, did I, I mention that my whispers tell me jokes? Jokes that once said aloud make your eyes bleed and blood curdle. Okay. Talk about That's black creepy. comedy. Talk about black comedy. Oh, look at that. A one handed axe. Swing and sweep. Ooh. Neat. That might actually. And then I got a scrappy auto gun. Is that a two handed rifle? Yeah, two handed range weapon. Okay. Cool. I might actually. Jesus Christ. I keep hitting escape to look what is this oh this is your uh your alignment system we'll learn about that later um i need no i need inventory i i will actually go to you and i will replace that other sword with this axe because it has sweep another thing that we can use probably hopefully uh, Axes have a special attack that inflicts bleed. Ooh, okay, cool. And then I will give you... Or will I give you... Oh, you have a Laz pistol. Okay, well then I will give you a ranged weapon just in case you can't get in. And then, yeah. And then there's still these guys over here. Psyker staff. Another gun. Okay, now... Is that staff better than her staff? No, it is exactly the same. So what is she in terms of... I'm guessing you're a lightning psyker, but I don't necessarily know archetypes. 
Uh, okay, so it's just a biography, maybe? A bibliography. Okay, no. Feats? No, nope, that's just her skills. She's an operative. She's divination. Oh, okay. Telepathy. Unsanctioned psyker. Heretical adherent. Psychic staff. Okay. Oh, it's just she's psychic. That's like the thing. Okay, cool. All right, everybody. I think that's everything. I think it's time to head back out. It's Try about time. One. Is this it? Door locked. Okay. Do we go back this way? Officer's deck, it says. Ah, okay, but I can, uh... Horn chamber, officer's deck. Maybe from there we can go to the bridge? Ah, okay. That seems good, at least. <laughs> Rip. I shall pity not your enemies. I shall heed not their pleas. Somebody shoot this man. I shall betray not your tenets, nor stray one step from them. Take not your gaze from me. Leave me not without your grace. I told you he would protect us. My God. My light. My... Emperor. Yo, she's badass. Sub girl. The white haired warrior turns to face you, her dark eyes blazing. The weapon quivers in her hands, and for a brief moment, it seems like she's not going to stop <laughs> and will instead continue eliminating every target she sees, starting with you. Sister Argenta. Sister Argenta, it is a relief to see you. Argento. We require all the forces we can muster. Your face. It is unfamiliar. Who are you? I am Wilbur von Valencius. Heir. Cat Lord Captain's heir. The hour is dark and daunting. The ship abounds with corruption. The faces of friends who are twisted by smears of heresy. The eyes of comrades ignite with the arch enemy's hunger. I will do what I must to halt the advance of the Dark Forces. But in these dire moments, little can be trusted. So I must know, why are you here? Sister, I beg of you. Now is not the time for interrogations. The ship is under attack by heretics. We've been betrayed by our esteemed Master of Whispers. Edelthrad the heir is waiting for our aid, and Lord Captain Theodora is expecting a report on our success. We are here to deal with the situation, so I suggest we all do just that. The Seneschal is right. I got it that time. I, I remembered. Uh, there's no time to talk. I am no traitor sister. Uh, do you even think in, to insinuate that I am one of the traitors? I will not let such an affront slide. Uh, I'm going to say he's right. There's no time to talk. Very well. We may leave it at that for now. I cannot wait to rain righteous fire down upon each and every heretic. What is a warrior of Adept's, Adepta Seradius doing on a rogue trader's ship? Your orders serve... Fuck me. <laughs> Do they not? Sister Argenta is a guest of the Lord Captain. And that story deserves its own time and conversation. Under more appropriate circumstances. Fair enough. Enough idle chatter. I am where I must be, and that will suffice. Let's get to the main hall. Through this door, I shall join you, for it is my duty to the God Emperor to destroy this heresy. We will follow. For now, we will hold off any heretics who might try to crawl in through the cracks to join the main assault. And we'll take a look at the generators while we're at it. Those villains made a mess of the cables. 
Oh, I wish we had a Texa map with us, but we'll see what we can do without one. Good to hear it. Sister? Ready. May Terra's light illuminate our path through fire and darkness. Got another party. Squad, dude. Okay, where are we going now? In here? No, the door's closed. I'll lay claim to the stars. You have to go in here? No. There's goods over here. Okay. Just a uh, bunch of shit I don't know about. I'll take it. Okay, now it's where are we going? Time. Oh, there's more goods here. And a revolver. Nice. I'll take that. And I will... Yeah, so we received equipment. Cool. Uh, let me... Wilbur, is that better than any of your guns? Bo better than both of your guns. So let me move this last pistol and then like that. 712, 711. That's good. And then who else wants another last pistol? You have an auto pistol. You have another LAS pistol. You can fucking have that. I don't care. Or you know what? You don't even have... I'm assuming what is the equivalent of two-weapon fighting, so... She's got an unfading Valor. Nice. Six to ten. All right. Victory awaits! So... Seems that... Oops, not what I meant to do. I think we have to go back this way. Now can we? No, we can't go that way. Also, how do I change formation? There we go. I'm gonna bring everyone uneditable. Uh, let's do this one. Let's swap him. Put them really close-knit together. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. None shall stand in my That's a way. lot better. I like that. Big hole in the wall. Don't care. Cool. Oh, I thought I checked this door. Okay, whatever. Hello, everyone. More enemies to face judgment. Oh, we these are, are all bad guys. This day. Show them no mercy. Okay. Uh, Abelard, get in there. Uh, Wilbur. I'll have you take cover. You will also take cover, but you're going to go right there. And you can go on this side. And you're a soldier, right? If I remember correctly. Argenta is a warrior of the Adeptus Sororitas Sorority and a soldier. She's an expert with burst range weapons that deal damage in area of effects. Oh, okay. Cool. Another Argenta strength is her mobility in combat. Run and gun. Uh, basically, you can take another shot after you move. Uh, Revel and slaughter is the ability... Is a soldier ability which can be used once for each three of the soldier kills in a single battle. Okay. Each activation of this ability increases the soldier's ballistic skill, critical ch chance, and crit damage. This effect stacks and lasts until the end of combat. Oh, okay. So we should really be giving all the kills to her pretty much. Certain types of weapons let you use burst attacks. Unlike single shots, burst fire requires you to select the direction rather than a specific target. Burst attacks are particularly effective against clusters of enemies. When performing a burst attack, the character fires several successive shots and yeah, I, I figured it's just a cone that it does damage in. Okay. But I think that said it can do, yeah, friendly fire. So I think that's a good option right Faith there. without deeds is worthless. Yeah. Fucked. 
And then I think I'm gonna run and I'll gun. Do it. And then just take a single shot? Or do I wanna do. As yeah, the I'll Emperor do that. commands, I act. I got one of them. Which means I can do this? Which means her ballistic skill. I wonder if there's like something that can tell me status effects on her. I don't think so. Unless it's right here. Ah, winded. Soldier suffers a 10 minus penalty to ballistic skills and cannot use running gun. Okay. So running gun is really like, uh, risk reward. I see. Ooh, my ears. Types of cover. Full cover. Yeah, we covered this, I believe. Some covers can be destroyed by melee attacks, area of attacks, or other abilities. Um, ch -ch 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 yeah. Cool. So, Wilbur, you're Suits going to purposes. boost Abelard. Not a problem for me. And then we're going to... Uh, well, who's next in the line? Him, all the way down there. Can I even... I don't even have a shot on him. Okay. So these two guys are next, but Avalard's gonna kill them. So let me Nothing do I this, do. maybe? And... Yeah, get him lower. Miss. Weakling. Yeah, there we go. That was the play. What an unfortunate bam, bam, bam. Turn of fate. Get fucked. And Abelard. Oh, more coming in. Shit. Didn't expect that. Exact replica of the void ship. Cool. All right. Uh, I think you're done. Easy miss. Okay, so I'm gonna go... Hmm. I'm gonna go here. And then I can hit him, right? What does Sweep do? Inflicts bleeding. And how much do you have? 18? Huh, yeah, I'll do that. seen worse battles than this in my time. Okay. Now he has... Flesh injury. Bleeding. Suffers damage at the start of each turn. Oh, okay, cool. That's how bleeding works. Got it. Target is too far. It will be done. That work. Get fucked. Victory this is, is free. Imminent. Race for impact. Yep. Barely any damage. Cool. So you're gonna run. Well, there's no cover there, unfortunately. Do I even need to move to hit you? 42%. If I move there, what is that? Still 42. Hmm. I think I'll be fine. So these guys are really focusing on Abelard. God uh, Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Kill. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Reduced to dust. Okay, he died at the start of his turn. Cool. And then you. Do I have a shot on you? Suits I do. Suits my purposes. I didn't even look at the chance. Okay. Well, didn't matter. I can Not still use specialty. this? No, I can't. So what does this do again? It just pushes their characteristics by 15 for one round. Okay. So that's fine. You can move. What is this foreboding? And then do you have a shot on these guys? I'm not so no. sure. So range on this. No can do. Nope. I can do this though. Uh don't really need to. What did they have on them? 
I have a, a stack of exploit on both of them. Okay. I think that's fine. You're dead, sir. Have a good day. What? You a target? And then you have a good day. <laughs> Reduce the dust. Cool. I'll lay claim to the stars. We did it, everyone. Combat successful. And holy shit, did we get a fuck ton of shit to sell? More guns. Cool. Anything else here? There's goods on the table. There's goods all over the place, actually. Bunch of shit I don't know anything about. I'll figure it out later, <laughs> I'm sure. No, did you find something? No. Multi key. Universal log picking tool. Cool. And then what is this? Machine right set. Set of sacred oils and cog cogitograms. <laughs> <laughs> it can be a can appease the keeper of any technology provides an additional opportunity to call out a machine spirit and interact with a device I don't know what that is i'll be real with you okay some more stuff to throw in the cargo hold anything else here there's some goods over here more goods over there. But that looks like about it. Logic, open the door. Logic, 100%. Skill test with the environment? Yep. Done. Uh, okay. Characters use text is 40, then 40 minus 10, difficulty of 10. Okay, okay. That's easily calculated. Now, is there anything in here? Oh, just more goods. More stuff to collect. Metal charge? And operator's gloves. Tech use, eh? Now, am I any good at tech use? Who's who's my tech use person? Uh, tech use is 35. 30. 30. 30. So 35 it is. Cool. I will go inventory. Wilbur. You put those gloves on. They look snazzy still. All right. Oh, there's an open door. Tech use, hundred percent. I rise to the occasion. Restore the power supply. I did fine. Okay. Is this Excellence like Excellence matters. Oh, look at all this neat shit. I rise to the occasion. And a shotgun. Ooh. Hey, uh, little lady, let me, uh, whisper in your ear. Let me throw that shotgun in here instead of your pistol. So that shotgun, 10 to 15 damage, but it's got such a short range. That's fantastic, though. Two med kits, two metal charges. Good. Good stuff. A new Holy challenge for crap. Me. Okay, was that it? Is that everything here? There's something there, but that doesn't matter. More victory away. BS. Okay. Let's start going up here. Demolitions. It's a good thing we found the all these charges. It's about time. Nice. We're getting shot at from down below. They're going that way. So I'm assuming that's the way to go. Game auto saved. I wonder if there's anything over here. Uh, goods and a door to open and more goods on the other side of the door. Hello? There we go, get the books. 
Let's see if I can open Done. this. Cool. More goods. A helmet. Deck officer's helmet. Grants 5% armor. I would say to put that on Abelard. Oops. No, 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 no. Let's throw that on him. That works. And now let's level him up. So I've got one rank available. Bring it down. The officer immediately grants an ally an extra turn with two action points and no movement points. If an ally is under the effect of voice of command and kills an enemy before the end of the officer's turn, the ally is granted a one-time additional uh, movement. Cool. So if I get voice of command and then pump this on them and they kill someone, they get movement. That's interesting. Summary apply. Nothing to really pick there. Same here. Endure. Till the warrior's next turn, all incoming damage is reduced by toughness bonus, and the warrior gains temporary hit points. Interesting. For the Psyker. Exposed weakness. The operative removes all exploits from the target and to decrease the dodge, parry, and armor until the operator's next turn. Okay, so 10... Oh, okay, that's cool. Just make him super weak. Okay, so debuffer. Revel and Slaughter, that's the one I was talking about. The soldier immediately removes the winded effect until the end of combat. Ooh, the soldier gains the following bonuses. Plus 10 to ballistic skill, plus 5 plus 2 times agility bonus critical damage. Okay, critical chance hit. Critical hit chance, sorry. Uh, the ability becomes available after the soldier kills three enemies. The kill counter does not reset between rounds. Okay. Very cool. Follow my lead. Yep. All right, well, let's start heading over this way. Well, that's not good. Who the fuck is this guy? The roar of the flame rings in your ears and choking smoke makes you cough and gasp for air. You instinctively recoil at the scorching heat, wiping your face a moment later. A hazy silhouette forms in the raging wall of fire. You are surrounded by ear-splitting noises and screaming, yet you can distinctly hear the sound of footsteps. And then you see the figure walk out of the fire towards you. It's Theodora von Valencia? Are you lost, my heir? An apparition, a sorcerer's apparition, trickery of the war. Sister, you are lower your weapon. Threatening the Lord Captain as outrageous. How did you get here? I am a rogue trader, Wilbur. Oh, I like that Theodore is in quotes. Uh... I am wherever, whenever, I am wherever my will demands me to be. You will prefer to be elsewhere at this time, indubitably. But are you ready? I can lead you out of these flames, Wilbur. Show the path, show you a path, rid you of pain, and give you a weapon so that you may defeat your enemies. Decide. Your mouth begins to salivate. Each word Theodora speaks is like music to your ears. The entity that now dwells in the deepest recesses of your mind is pleading, begging, demanding that you give her an immediate answer. And that answer can be nothing other than acceptance. Do not listen to this abomination, Wilbur. If you, if you, if there is not but his light in your heart, if you are resolute in your faith, then step into the flames. The Emperor protests. Uh, his faithful will not be deterred by either darkness nor deceitful promises, nor will the fire burn those who carry the torch of faith in their soul. To the void with you, we need to follow Lady Theodora. We will suffocate in this furnace. The people, Wilbur, the survivors on the middle deck, we must help the crew, lead them out. 
find a way around. And we miss our chance to meet up with Edel. She breaks off the stairs, violently coughing. Her knees buckle. Wilbur, what are you waiting for? Okay, now here is the convictions system. You got three. You got dogmatic, iconoclast, or heretical. And that's each with including five ranks. These are basically like your... Uh, your system of... Uh, God, what's it called? Karma system? Morality system? Morality is more like it, actually. Get the people off the bridge. I will not let my people in harm's way. I will not leave my people in harm's way. We are going our iconoclast for this playthrough. Heretical seems fun. I really do want to do a heretical playthrough, but I think I'm going to do that on my own time. But Iconoclast is what we're going through on this playthrough. Iconoclast plus 15. You look away, the illusion breaks. The unbearable heat instantly makes your skin burn, and the voices of the people beyond the shroud of smoke grow stronger and hopeful. Once you and your companions rush back, barking orders and guiding the survivors into your in your determination, you completely forget about Theodora, and when you <laughs> turn your head, you see nothing but a wall of flames. So that basically, um, each of your party members is aligned with something. So he's Iconoclast level two. She is heretical level two. And then she is dogmatic level three. So. Very interesting. Now we need to I find a way come. around, Where I'm did assuming. He eat go. The thing that was standing in front of us in the fire? I could have sworn. To the same place all unholy visions go. Do you want to follow it, witch? Okay. Well. Crash the platform. Never doubt me. All right, now we got a way forward. Holy shit. This is cool as fuck. I think we're going to call it there for today. We have assembled a very interesting squad of people. I'll lay claim to the stuff. And we will check out this stuff next time. We're going to finally probably hopefully make it to the bridge this time next time. And yeah, we'll see what the hell's going on with that visage. And I'll see you in the next one.